write our lesson. So we're going to write an equation for our relationship shown in the table. And then we're going to um, find the missing value in the table. So what we're going to take a look at is how do we get from x to y? So how do we get from x to y? Well, if I start with x and I get to y, let's take a look. Well, how do I get from 20 to 23? I add 3. How do I get from 40 to 43? I add 3. 80 to 83? Add 3. So guess what? Our equation is going to be x um, plus 3 is going to equal whatever that y value is. So what is 60 plus 3? Well, it's going to be 63. So we have 63 here, and then our equation is going to be x plus 3 equals y. All right, let's take a look over here. How do I get from 3 to 18? Well, I can multiply by 6. How about 4 to get to 24? Can I multiply by 6? 5 to 30, multiply by 6, yes. So what's 6 times 6? It's going to be 36. So how we got from x, x times 6, or 6 times x, or 6x, equals whatever y equals. So I would write it in as 6x, or 6 times x, but this is also correct. Um, and then in our table, it would be 36. I am going to keep on this video and go to our next one. So our next lesson part, again, well, first we have an equation here, and we are going to figure out the rest of the table values. So y is going to be whenever 7 times x. So whatever that x is, we're going to multiply it by 7. So we're going to multiply it by 7 times 7, times 7, times 7. So 2 times 7 is going to be 14. Is 1 times 7, 7? Yes. 3 times 7 is going to be 21. 4 times 7, 28. So all you have to put in those boxes is that 14, 21, and 28. Over here we have y is equal to x minus 2. So whatever x is, subtract 2, you'll get your y value. So what is 5 minus 2? It's going to be 3. 8 minus 2. All I'm doing is plugging in this 5, this x value, which is telling us it's 5, and then we'll find whatever y equals. So 8 minus 2 is going to be 8, 7, 6. 11 minus 2, 11, 10, 9. 14 minus 2, 14, 13, 12. So your values here will be 3, 6, 9, and 12.